almost like a week in my life vlog so it's currently monday and we're actually on our way this is like not a weekly like occurrence or i don't even think it's ever been an occurrence but we're going to a roller skating party right we've now we've never done that before yeah no we've, a couple. we've never been roller skating together we've been ice skating mm -hmm. that's it um i used to go roller skating all the time when i was a kid though so i'm really excited have you, have you been yeah um i think i did a I actually like I did a birthday party in a skating rink one time. Yeah, classic. I'm pretty sure I did that. It was an early birthday. Um, but I don't think I've been... I don't think I've had a set of roller skates on since then. Well, it's Since I fun. fell in love with the movie Brink. Brink? Isn't that what it's called? Brink. Brink. I've never seen that. That's it. I, my skating movie was Roll Bounce. That was... Oh, yeah. That was... Yeah, you yeah, have to watch that. So yeah, it's so good. Well, the party we're going to is Xanadu themed. We don't know what that is. We're too young. I've not seen it. Olivia Newton John, I've heard. I don't know. Makes an appearance. Oh, it's a movie? I didn't even know. I thought that just like meant that was a word that meant something. 80s. Nope. It's a movie. Okay. There it is. West Oh, wait, the, we're here? Okay. Land. Yeah, so we're going to take you through the week. It's Monday night right now. So let's go skate our hearts out. Oh, nice. It looks like us. Is anyone here? Yeah, that's Marcy's car and then the gills. And the gills? Yeah. Let's go. If Maya's not here, I'm going to cry. <laughs> up like 10 minutes ago um my alarm did not go off i actually don't think i said it at all so that's a me problem um but i was supposed to get up at seven because i have a really busy day today but it is what it is so i'm gonna get up now i need to go grab my journal my book and do my morning routine uh, i'm just gonna read a chapter and do my like gratitude for the day and then i'm gonna start getting ready for the day because I have a busy one, so yeah, let's get up and start the day. She's like, no, she doesn't wake up yet. You're so cute. Usually in the mornings, I get up and I cover her up. And she stays in bed for a couple more hours. <laughs> um, I did a tan last night and I put my hair in braids because I wanted my hair to be wavy and yeah, I need to like wash this tan off. So, okay, let's get up. So I'm gonna make my shaken espresso and I haven't showed that how I do it in a while so I'll show you guys 
So this is my espresso machine. Don't judge me, it's kind of dirty, but first when it heats up, you let water run through it. So I'm just gonna clean it out really quick with the water. Okay, so I'm just like putting the espresso in here. Um, you just kind of pack it in. This is um, from Fresh Time and we ground it ourselves. I think it's called like Espresso Milan or something but it's really good. You can use regular coffee. It's not as good, but that's what we used to do. When we first got it, we like didn't know what we were doing. So you can totally do that. You kind of just pack it in like this. And then just put that on. like my version of the Starbucks uh, brown sugar oat milk chicken espresso so I'm gonna get some ice and then this is just like my thing so I have a shaker of ice and I'm gonna add in some cinnamon I like a lot and then I don't always add these two but today I will just to show you so this is nutmeg and ginger because I in the fall I wanted something i hate pumpkin spice but i looked up what was in pumpkin spice and then i was going to add all of that besides the pumpkin so it was ginger and nutmeg cinnamon and like a few other things but i just decided to add those and it's like a really it smells amazing and it was just like yum it's so good it is more like fall time to add these two but i don't care i think it's so good you need to add that like right on top of the ice or um, if you try to add it into the coffee later, then it's just not gonna mix together. So that's why I put it on top of the ice and then I just shake everything together. So here's my espresso and I'm just gonna pour that in. And I just use like a blender bottle, like you can use like a real coffee shaker, but it doesn't really matter. Make sure it's on there. And I like it to look like that. I like to use my clear mugs. I'll link these for you guys. I love them so much. They're nice and big. Can you see them? Because they're clear. They're nice and big. They're great for tea, coffee. You can use hot or cold in them. They're insulated. Gorgeous, beautiful. Okay, and the final touch, the most amazing touch is this creamer. It is the Natural Bliss Oat Milk Brown Sugar Creamer, and it is a dream. It is literally the best creamer out there. There's nothing better than this, nothing. And I have tried every freaking creamer like on the market this is not going to be topped so i like a generous kind of generous amount and then that's my coffee routine and I live for this routine I look forward to it every single morning it's amazing sometimes I'm feeling very extra and like if you're not if you don't like weird spiritual stuff and like you won't like this but sometimes I put intention into like my coffee so like as I'm making it I imagine like the cinnamon giving me like abundance and like the ginger giving me like confidence and like things like that so like you could totally do that and the coffee coffee bringing me like positivity and energy and the oat milk grounding me so if you want to do that you can i have a great day when i do it and i like will light an incense that's if i'm feeling fancy but sometimes you just gotta 
get this down the hatch and get moving and I have a busy day, so. Speaking of all that weird shit, I'm gonna go journal and read now. And I wanted to get up at seven because I usually let myself have an hour to do all that kind of stuff. And like really journal like pages if I'm feeling it and like read as much as I feel called to read. But I just don't have time for that today. So I'm gonna do a chapter. It'll take me like literally less than 10 minutes. And then just do my gratitude journal. So I'm gonna line the little ones. I'll show you the book I'm reading really quick. And I've already read it, but I'm rereading it. It's called The Mastery of Love by Don Miguel Ruiz. And I feel like it should be a legal for everyone not to have to read this book. I feel like you should like, it should like go along with your taxes. Like you should have to submit your taxes and also a book report of this because like the world would just be such a better place if everyone read this book. Your relationships would improve with your family, your partner, your friends. It's just like the most amazing book and all of his books are amazing. He was the author of The Four Agreements. Um, and the fifth agreement and then this one and like those three books are like I could never read another book again just reread those for life so I highly recommend that this one and start with the four agreements if you just want to be like a better person so yeah I'm gonna get to it and I will see you guys after just got out of the shower and I do not know what happened here with my tan I think it's because I had like multiple tan lines from uh, Miami but it just kind of looks a little messed up, but whatever, you can't worry about it. Um, I need to put lotion on and I'm gonna try this new moisturizer I got sent yesterday. Let me grab the package. Sadie's still not up yet. Um, El Maquillage sent me a package. I'm doing some content for them, um, for their ads. And they sent me, yeah, how cute. They sent me their anti-aging hyaluronic serum, but I really want to try this. It's their power cream. It's like a moisturizer, so I think I'm going to try this. Look how cute this box is. It's like a wedding ring proposal box. It's so nice. And here's what the jar looks like. Super cute, like tattoo type thing on the lid. Um, but yeah, it's like a power cream. Anti-aging ultra peptide moisturizer. So yeah, I'm gonna try this. It's fragrance free and I have really sensitive skin. So I'm gonna try this out and yeah. I already put my serum on and I don't really wanna mix, um, but I already put on like a hyaluronic acid. So yeah, I'm gonna put on this cream and I'll tell you guys what I think. Oh my God, it feels amazing. Oh, wow. That feels so good. I usually just use, I usually just use Aquaphor for my moisturizer and that felt so good. Okay, that's good stuff. I don't know like how my skin's gonna react to it over time, but right now, I, wow. And it feels like so cooling on my face. Oh my God. I love it. I know I'm gonna love that serum because it's like the same type of thing. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna finish getting ready. Okay, I just did my makeup and took out my braids. And my hair is like a little crazy right now. I just like took the braids out and put a little bit of wave spray in it. They, my hair was still wet from last night in some places, so I'm just kind of like letting it dry before I do anything to it. Um, but yeah, this is how my makeup turned out. And I'm gonna go, um, I need to film one YouTube video today. Um, and then I'm going to take photos. So yeah, this is the look. I'm going for like a beachy wave. So yeah, this will die down a little bit, but I just wanted to show you what it looks like. I did Dutch braids and um, instead of French, just because it's easier for me, but I think I need to do French next time because I think the wave pattern is like a little bit cuter, so. But yeah, I like it. Hey guys, I'm checking in. So I'm currently filming and I'm eating a quick lunch. First of all, I'll just go ahead and give you guys, look how cute this swimsuit is. I'm pretty sure this video will already be up, so 
go watch it for the link to this and a bunch of cute other swimsuits but I just wanted to show you my lunch um it's more like a snack I made a piece of toast and this is like a chickpea mash with like mustard and dill uh vegan mayo and I put a bunch of dill on top and it's like spices and stuff but it's so good I got the recipe from Delaney Childs and yeah I just wanted to give you guys an update I'm filming this is how my hair turned out after it settled down and I just added some hairspray, but yeah, it turned out really cute. And yeah, I'm gonna eat this and keep filming. Okay guys, I got done filming my video and I'm actually running into Starbucks right now. I'm gonna get a coffee before I go. Um, I have a couple pictures to shoot. So yeah, it's gonna be fun. I really am obsessed with how my hair turned out today. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna start doing that more often. But I'm going to order really quick. Hi, and thank you for choosing all Starbucks. What can we get started for you today? Hi, can I please get a triple espresso on ice in a grande cup? And then can I also add um, three pumps of white mocha and oat milk to that? Okay. And that's it. All right, we'll see you up here before 37. Thank you. Thank you. It's the go-to. You need to try it. It's so good. Okay, hold on. Okay, let's try it. That is like the best one I've had in a while. Go ahead and screenshot that. And thank me later. The problem is I already have to pee. But this is going to be quick because... So it's almost 2 o'clock right now. I should get to the, like the location at around 2. Um, but I need to be, like, back home by, like, 2.45 so I can finish what I need to do today. And then I have a workout at 3.45 with Brad. Um, we have an Orange Theory workout, so I gotta kind of wrap this up. I got, again, like, I was supposed to get up an hour earlier today, so I'm kind of losing an hour. So I'm only shooting one look. So yeah, it shouldn't take long. I'm just, like, shooting my outfit that I'm wearing today. Um, I love this outfit, and I don't know why I don't wear this bodysuit more. Um, but I've been trying to just shoot and things or like take pictures when I'm actually just like out and about and not do so much like the batch shooting that I used to do like with like my outfit photos. I think like I just want to make it more of like a diary of like what I'm actually wearing instead of like this whole elaborate thing. Like I think it's fun to do photo shoots like that that are like styled but I'm trying not to like do that so much. Like the other day Brad and I we had like the cutest day and I had on like a cute little orange tank with like a body chain and like white jeans. So I was like, oh, let me just take a photo like with this. Like I want it to be more like that vibe of like, I actually wore this today. Here's a photo. Oh God, I'm like right by this truck. Sorry if it's loud. I'm shooting at this really cute place that Nora and I used to shoot at all the time in college. We would get like nervous though because there's kind of a lot of people around that area, but I just like, I don't know what came over me, but for a while there, I, like, was really letting, like, being scared of what people thought of me, like, out and about, like, taking photos, like, let that stop me from do shooting or, like, doing things I want to do or, like, vlogging in public, and I just decided, like, literally last week that I just don't give a shit anymore and, like, anything that anyone says to me because like you always get comments like when you're like out shooting outfits or whatever like whistles whatever or like weird stares like that's literally just them like projecting onto you like how they would feel if they were doing that and so why would I let someone else's projections interfere with my happiness and my work and my money like this is my job so yeah, I just decided, like, who cares, and I'm really just gonna try to, like, keep that mindset. It's really hard, though, in the moment when people are, like, staring at you, but you just have to say hello. Oh, shit, I just ran a light. You just have to, like, say hello and move on. Like, they'll get over it. So, yeah, that's the mindset we're adopting. So, if you're, like, I don't know how many people that follow me, like, want to do, like, content creation or, like, want to take photos of their outfits, like, you just have to say fuck it. You just have to do it. Like, don't let anyone stop you because of what they think. Not your family, not your friends. If people don't support you, like, they're not meant to be in your life. Or if they make you feel stupid, 
they're not for you so who cares like what people think and people that are like you are gonna think it's cool like girls I've had like be like you look so good or like people being so nice when I'm out and those people like are the ones that get it and the girls that get it get it and the girls that don't don't so yeah all right I'm gonna go because I ran a red light earlier and I need to focus on driving okay well I just got to the place and there's literally like they're doing construction right on top of it so i'm gonna have to go somewhere else i'll show you what could have been could have been the cutest photo in the world but i'm not actually gonna post up with construction workers and like there's weird shadows everywhere because of it so just kidding yeah it's this pink wall and that could have been really cute but there's construction and you can't be over there so yeah, kind of annoying. I kind of wanted like a city vibe for this outfit, but like, I think I'm just gonna go to the place I always go and it's just like a white wall and it's like more industrial. But we'll try and see. And like, if I have to get ready again after my workout and come back, like, I guess I can. But yeah, and maybe I'll just like, if I see something cute, I'll pull over, but I really wanted the pink. Oh well. No problem. Okay, Bradley's joined us in the car and we're on our way to our workout. We have a 345 workout. It's 332. Oh my god, almost 333. Who did you just say hi to? Uh just the guy I knew. You're lying. No, I'm not. That was the He's the weirdest. dad of one of my basketball players. That was weird. I thought you just did that to be weird. Nope. Okay. <laughs> Anyways. We're just well known in the community. Oh, uh, okay. We're on our way to the workout. And I'm sad that I'm going to have to get my hair all sweaty. Because it's the best hair day I've ever had. Don't you think? It is a good hair day. Like, wow. Pretty pristine. Pristine. Like, Christine. Okay. We're gonna go to our workout. We'll see you after. Yesterday, or yeah, yesterday. Just got out of our workout. It was a good one. It was a good one. I don't think my hair and makeup is too messed up either. What? I don't think my hair and makeup is that messed up. <laughs> Saturday. Yeah, that's true. And she does walk, but she also is not. She also doesn't that much. She's not a huge exerciser. Mm -mm. She doesn't enjoy. I mean, she likes going outside, but she doesn't she love doesn't, long yeah. walks. She likes to like lay in the sun. Because she's a bulldog. She is a bulldog. But she was having fun on Saturday. She was having fun, yeah. I just think it might have been too much. She might have pulled a muscle mm -hmm. in her Back Maybe leg. she's like sore or something. Her foot looked a little bit swollen to me yesterday. But where should I drop you off? I at that same at the door that I usually do. Uh, I didn't know if there were no. big buses in the way. Where do I drop you off? 
Yeah, I'll show it to you. Okay. You'll, you'll like we're going to play tennis. Okay. Oh my gosh, move little birdie. Oh yeah, we did um, Orange Theory this morning and they like have challenge workouts and today was a 12 minute run per distance so you see how far you can run and try to beat like your last time. And we both beat ours today so whoop, we treated ourselves. And we got sandwiches too. I like that, anytime we PR yeah. on those post market days, we're gonna stop at Starbucks. Starbucks. Yeah, because there's a Starbucks right by our apartment, so that's our treat. Treat. Now my last time I got nine or point nine one, and today I did one point two two. So far, very far. I'm a runner now. I'm an athlete. Yeah, you are. Because you weren't even running all the way last time. I know. I'm a runner. I'm a track runner. One point eight one, which beat my last one by more than a tenth. That's good. So that's solid. You were. But I think fast. I pulled. I think I'm in the same boat as Sadie. I pulled my hamstring. <laughs> you guys should take a bath together tonight. No. <laughs> you should take a bath tonight, though. I took one last night, and it really helped my legs. Let's see how long mine is. The drop off. I might. You might do kid drop off. If it's not long, if it is, you can just let me know. Right. Anywhere. Yeah, I'm gonna go in up there. Yeah. I love you. This love you too. Day. Thank you. See you at three. Yeah. Okay. Bye. See ya. Be Don't here at come. yeah. Be here at three. At three. Okay. Yep. Don't forget. Thanks, both. Okay. Love you. Love you too. Have a good day. You too. Okay, let's go. And shower. Need to shower so bad. Back on me, start the show. Um, yeah, I need to shower really bad and I haven't done any of my morning routine yet, so need to do that. I don't know what I'm doing or where to go. There's so many buses and cars everywhere. I'm not cut out for this. This is a one way. Move. Fucking A. Why did he make me do this? Fuck, now I'm stuck in the drop off line anyways. Can I go around? Okay, I'm going around. I don't know if I was supposed to do that, but. Sorry. Okay, I'll see you guys at home. Okay, it's like almost 10 now, like, yeah, 9.45. And I'm running to the grocery store. Brad also forgot his lunch today, so. This vlog is like really about me taking care of him. <laughs> so I also need stuff. I'm gonna make like a chickpea mash for lunch today and I don't have anything. So I just put on this quick little fit. I just have these like wide leg sweats on from H&M, tank from Zoffel I think. And then this denim jacket that I got for, from Pattaya forever ago when I worked there. I think this bag is from Pattaya too. And then these are um, WMP eyewear. So that is the fit for today. And yeah, I'm gonna go to Kroger now. Saturday and we're about to go have fun and walk around and she can't go because she's limping and she needs to rest. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Take a nap. I'm sorry. This is what I'm wearing today anyways. I'm wearing it like a just simple white tube top. I put this fun little bandana in my hair and we're wearing fresh face. I've been doing that for the past like week. I really like it. So this is the outfit. I'm just wearing jeans, tote bag, got my Coke Zero mini, and we're heading out.
Brad was tired. We had to stop at Starbucks so he could really live. Tired. He's dragon. Mm -hmm. Mage. Last time she was like limping and she's starting to feel a little bit better but she still can't go on walks so we're gonna let her kind of like <laughs> you hot we're gonna let her um like roam around and just like still be outside but not like go on a real walk so that's what we're doing do you want to tell the vlog what you did this morning coach my first orange theory classes Brad is officially an Orange Theory coach. Whoop, whoop. Do it really well. I was in the class. It was very good. I was motivated. You did great. Thank you. He did correct me one time, and I was like, I don't you know if I like oh, this. Yeah. But, but I didn't tell you to use bigger weight, which I usually do. I but know, but you it's because I was already doing a good job. Proud. Thank you. So, yeah. Cheers to you. Catch up with you guys later. Oh, wow. and we're doing separate dinners tonight and I made myself some vegetarian tostadas and they look amazing, let me show you. They look so good. I did uh, like black bean and tofu mix and then I did avocado, sour cream and mango salsa and they look amazing. And you cannot have one of them. You cannot have any, sorry. 